long time ago, ships sailed in the oceans and the seas. And these trips used to be for exploring, or to transport goods, or to travel, or to fish. And of course, the old ships were so slow, and they used to take a long time in water, extending to months or years. During these trips, the sailors used to eat fish and meat more than vegetables and fruits because they were not available during the long periods of time they spent in water. On one of the cruises that belonged to the British Royal Navy, the Scottish scientist James Lind was on board this voyage and he was then the person who helped the doctor. On this voyage, James Lind noticed that the sailors were suffering from strange symptoms, namely gingivitis and tooth loss. And many sailors were dying during the voyages because they didn't know the identifier of the disease, which was later known to be scurvy, which is a serious disease that leads to death. James Lynn started looking at these symptoms, and the first thing he thought of that it could be due to his malnutrition. So he took a group of six sailors, divided them into six groups, and each group was made of two people. Then he put a food program for these groups, and added a type of food to each group that was different from the rest of the groups. To the first group, he added lemon to it. To the second group, he added apple juice to it. To the third group, he added vinegar to it. To the fourth group, he added nutmeg to it. To the fifth group, he added foods containing sulfur to it. And to the sixth group, he added alcohol to it. At the end of this trip, James Lynn noticed that the group which he added lemon to their food was completely cured of scurvy. Despite this exciting discovery by the scientist James Lynn, 40 years passed before the British Navy adopted the results of this discovery and recommended that all of its ships should have lemon on board in order to avoid scurvy.